We're here at the National Farm Machinery Show with uh, Jared Lau, the product manager from John Deere, uh, the entire utility tractor segment. We've also got Jason Case, also known as Diesel Shadow here, and we're going to do a little tag team uh, discussion here with Jared, and we're kind of going to hit him from all sides. Jason represents Green Tractor Talk, and he's one of the forum moderators there and a longtime contributor. And uh, so, Jared, we're really happy to have just a few minutes to chat with you today. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. We're pretty excited about this machine behind me here. It's the new 2038R, uh, which is a new model in the lineup for the two-family large chassis. Uh, it's got a, a, a smaller sibling, the 2032R, that's uh, a nice tractor as well. So uh, take it away with whatever questions you got, and I'll, I'll try and do my best to answer them. Okay, well, the, the, I guess the first thing we need to kind of do is level set really where we were to start with. I mean, it seems like about a decade ago, a little more than a decade ago, Deere really decided to, to get a lot deeper involvement into the compact tractor and subcompact tractor segment. You really took the design into your own hands, first with the 3 Series, then with the 1 Series, and really improved the creature comforts and a lot of a lot of the features there. And now the 2 Series getting some of those uh, same same uh, features. What, what would you say are the most important enhancements in the 2032 and 2038? Yeah, I mean, customer feedback and, and meeting customer needs is definitely an extremely important thing for us. We want to make sure these tractors are easy to use for anybody that wants to get on, whether you're an experienced tractor operator or a very first time owner. And uh, an example of that on this particular machine is uh, the new Mordek lift system, which is uh, actually an electrically controlled uh, lift system. And it, what that does is um, allows us to separate the control of the mower deck from the rear hitch and from the front attachment so that you can have a lot of things on this tractor all at once. Um, we like to call it not only compatibility, but compoundability. So compatibility means will a given attachment work with a tractor? Compoundability means can you have multiple things on the tractor at the same time and still have full use of them? So with the new command cut mower decks, uh, not only is it easier to use, um, but it gives you more functionality of the tractor. Uh, there's a, a dial that you install here in the dash when you get the mower deck, and you add another raise lower lever here as well. And you just set your cut height and bump the lever up or down, and that'll take you to your, your desired set point. So it's a pretty innovative feature that we're excited about. So uh, not only does it separate things, it also is a lot more accurate, right? So this command cut really gives a lot of accuracy if you want to be very specific in your cut height, right? Yeah, so um, as you know before, like on, uh, on our smaller tractors, the dial, uh, it kind of just said low, medium, high, you know, and you didn't kind of really know where you're at. And now you've got a bunch of different positions to choose from. And if you have a set point that you really like, you can always come back to that really quickly. Or if you're mowing your, your pristine yard around your home and then you want to go out and mow a ditch bank or, or some taller weeds in a pasture or something, you can bump that height up pretty quickly and then come back to your favorite set point. So it's, it's definitely a nice nice setup. So not only do you have uh, more accuracy in that, it seemed like from some of the other videos we saw from, from you actually, Jared, that uh, the, the, the new Auto Connect is, is maybe a little beefier than the one on the One Series. Yeah, these, uh, this chassis has grown in size a little bit, and so now all of the front implements and the mid mowers are going to be compatible with our 3R product lineup. So since we bump things up in size, we increase the uh, size of the lift linkages underneath to work with those larger mower decks and heavier high capacity seven iron mower decks that are heavier and more, more durable. Now, Jason, you have a T-Series, uh, one of the original T-Series itself. That's, that's correct. I have a 2720, uh, a little smaller than this guy. What, uh, what are the new features that you see that are the most compelling that you want to maybe inquire a little of uh, Jared on? Well, I, I got to tell you, I, I really like the way this, this tractor uh, looks. And we got, we got the flat floor here, ease of entry on both sides of the tractor. We've got a tilt steering wheel. We've got a much more modern instrument cluster with it that matches the uh, 3 Series. Still have the twin touch pedals. Easy and higher access on the on the hydraulic connectors. That's it's they're no longer so close to the ground. You're afraid of dragging anything. Now, Jared, that's even with the with the standard hydraulic coupler. I think there's an advancement available, right? Uh, definitely. So I wanted to touch on your comment on the hydraulic protection. That's something we hear about a lot. Is customers that are driving these things in 
in the forest or whatever and they drive past a limb and it grabs the hydraulic line. Uh, they, we, we heard people constantly tell us to protect the hydraulics. So if you notice, we've moved these really, really far inboard and up off the ground as far as possible and have a really nice hydraulic routing here. So it's almost, uh, it's very difficult to, to ever have a branch or anything grab those hydraulic lines because of the improvements we made. And yeah, Tim, we, we also have a, a field kit that you can install called a single point hydraulic coupler. And essentially what that does is allow you to connect and disconnect the hydraulics without even having to get off the seat. Um, you can uh, detach your loader latches here just like we've uh, had on all our quick attach loaders or quick park loaders. And then you just uh, lean forward a little bit, push a red button, and you can flip the handle up and take all four hoses off at once with no drips, no spills. And uh, you can have this loader off in, in 30 seconds to a minute. Christy, we gotta have one of these. She's behind the camera. And I think you can actually take the loader off now. I would actually go for that one. <laughs> okay, and the finance mean, committee has already said yes. I think so. We'll take it home. <laughs> wait, 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 I didn't say that. <laughs> you uh, you mentioned the seat. The seat's a little more comfy, I think, than the last version. Tell us about that. Yeah, so on the previous model, um, we knew we needed to make some improvements on seat comfort. Seat comfort's a big deal when you're you know, mowing your yard for three or four hours at a time if you got a big acreage. And so the design on the previous tractor was uh, simply a, a pin through the front of the seat with some rubber bumpers on the back. This seat is a, is a true suspension seat. It's actually got two parallel plates with a linkage that allows you to, to really have a nice, comfortable ride. And uh, this cushion is uh, similar to what we use on our larger 4R tractors. So it's a tried and true design. And the cushion is actually a lot thicker than it appears because it goes down into this tray in the bottom. So when you sit in this thing, you really feel the difference compared to the, the previous model. Now, from a chassis standpoint, Jason, uh, think, absolutely, and, and that made a big difference for uh, larger people. Uh, I, I no doubt in my mind that a larger, like a six foot five tall man, can easily fit inside this uh, uh, operator comp uh, compartment. And in the previous model, where you felt like you were up in the steering wheel, even with the seat all the way back. So this a is a huge, lot more adjustment, huge improvement over the last model. Yeah, we, we spent quite a bit of time specifically on that. You know, these controls and the way they're laid out. If you sit in the seat and your elbow's on the armrest, this hydraulic SCV lever just kind of falls right in the palm of your hand. It's really nicely placed. You can have a nice kind of lean in the seat so you can see your, your corners of your loader bucket when you're loading. These handles and switches all have a, a unique kind of feel to them. So if you're operating and once you're familiar with the tractor, you can reach over and touch them and you know without even looking what you're, what you're touching with the textures that we've got on the switches and the, the lever design. Okay, we really can't show the backhoe here. Um, I think there are some other videos of it, but it's basically an, uh, a newer version of the 270 backhoe, right? The 270B. Yeah, so the, uh, the previous model is a 270A, and uh, we upgraded that to a 270B, much like um, on our construction site. Uh, improvements are, are changes in letter states, so a lot of our construction equipments go, equipment goes from, you know, uh, an H series to a J series and so this one went from an A to a B and it's uh, still a three-point quick connect backhoe so the only thing you need to do to install it is to remove your top link of your three-point hitch and store that and then you install a crossbar between your draft arms and you back up on top of the, the carriage of the, the backhoe and pull up on your hydraulic hitch connect your backhoe hydraulics, put your pins in, and you're ready to go dig. It's a very nice process, very easy to do. We have a big, nice new decal on the backhoe that gives you step-by-step -step instructions and pictorial diagrams for how to put it on because a lot of people that own backhoes, they might use them a couple times a year, and for the rest of the year, they're, they're out in the weeds, and then when they go to put it on, they forget how to do it. So we've really taken that to heart and tried to make it easy to do and uh, giving them some guidance as well. And now with this new uh, this new model, we can have the mower on, in addition to having the backhoe as before, if you had a mower, you had to take all the lift linkage off to put the backhoe on. So that's a, that's a huge improvement as well. Yeah, so on the previous model, uh, the standard mower deck lift system was, was based off of the hitch. Uh, you could get an upgraded hydraulic cylinder with a diverter valve. 
there's no need to do that anymore because this new system is electric. You don't have to uh, tap into any hydraulics, worry about any leaks or anything while you're while you're mowing. It, it's a completely independent, separate system that gives you full control of all your implements. Now you mentioned hydraulics. Uh, service intervals lengthen quite a lot on this track. Yeah, uh, so the service interval for the hydraulics is uh, 1,200 hours now, and for the, the little amount that people utilize these tractors throughout the year, that's going to last them a long time. You know, we still recommend following the recommended maintenance, and there's a time-based oil change and an, a machine-use-based oil change, so if you're not heavily using the tractor, um, it's still good to follow the recommended interval in, in the OM. But 1,200 hours is the new target for the hydraulic oil. Jason, that's going to save us a lot of money on maintenance. Yes, absolutely it will. Absolutely. Even the filters are located easily gotten to the dipstick. This is something that the 2 Series owners have been uh, really ranting about. They, they used to have a sight gauge in the very back, and that was, a, it was a very finicky on how it would show an oil level. Now we have a dipstick that's right on the back. It's easily you know, pulled and gotten to. You don't have to reach through the, the fender to get to it. Even the engine oil dipstick is right here on the side. I mean, that, we've been able to do that in the previous series, but the engine is completely enclosed now, but you can still pull the dipstick without popping the hood or taking the side panel off. Yeah, let, let me talk a little bit about serviceability. Uh, you, you touched on the, the dipstick here. It's imperative that um, you know every day you, you check your oil and maintain the oil level. And we wanted to make that as easy as possible. So in the, the side, the heat shield here in the side, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second, we, we gave an access port for the dipstick, uh, so you don't even have to open the hood or anything to get access to that. Uh, if you do need to get into the engine, we've also made that very simple as well. We have a latch in the, in the side of the, the grill here, and all you have to do is grab the uh, ignition key from the, from the front of the tractor and press in on this little tab right here, open the hood, and then we have quarter turn tool free fasteners that allow you to get into the engine compartment in a matter of seconds if you need to get in here to do anything. That being said, the air filter is now, it has its own restriction indicator, so you don't need to take it out and clean it and inspect it until the light on the dash comes on and tells you to do it, which really saves um, a lot of dust and debris from getting in there because every time you take the filter in and out, you, you run the risk of getting some, some dust where it shouldn't be. So that's a nice new feature. I mean, this is really, I mean, it's basically what I heard you say in simple man's form is this is real easy to take off. It's real easy to get into, but you still don't even need to do that. Yes, that's correct. Yep. Yep. So that kind of thinking is, is really what's gone into this tractor. <laughs> I, I, I touched a little bit on these plastic side panels and didn't explain a lot about them, but Essentially what uh, we wanted to do is make sure that you're comfortable when you're operating this tractor. So these lower plastic side panels are designed to take the airflow from the engine compartment off of the cooling fan and direct that down to the ground rather than blowing that hot air onto the operator. And so there was nothing on this tractor that went untouched that we didn't think about. Uh, some of the other features uh, that, are, that are nice, uh, the cruise control is a standard feature on here. We have a new PTO switch, which has the built-in RIO function right into it. We also have what we call auto throttle now, which is a switch here on the dash. And when that switch is enabled, that actually ties your twin touch pedal to your engine throttle. And uh, if you're doing uh, a transport down the road or something, all you have to do is press on the pedal and you can leave your engine at idle and the pedal will rev it up to the necessary RPM for the application. Very, very handy. Very, very handy. What about availability? Uh, I've, we've seen one or two maybe in our dealers. Uh, can, can Jason and I go get one of these today? Yeah, they're shipping out. We're, uh, we're building them as fast as we can. And uh, I was out back behind the factory the other day and I saw them rolling out on some trucks. So they're getting out there, but uh, it's going to be a while before we get the whole, whole dealer group populated. Uh, Tim, I'm just going to take this one home. <laughs> oh, you're going to take this one? Yeah, I'll take well, this I'll, one. I'll wait for the next one then. But one thing I noticed is that uh, Jared said subtly, you're making it right Yes. That's correct, yes. This tractor is fully designed and developed and built by John Deere at our factory in Augusta, Georgia. And we're pretty proud of that. And, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of time went into this and the planning with the customer needs and, and making sure that we have a quality, reliable, durable tractor. Uh, this is going to last a lot of people a long time. Yeah. Hey, uh, we really appreciate your time, Jared. I know you're busy. 
and uh, really happy to see everybody here at the National Farm Machinery Show. Jason, really happy to have you along. Thank you for having me. And uh, hey, press the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Thanks, Tim.